I feel like Tim Gunn right now, but like, where is this girl going? Where, you know, like asking right. the designer, like, right, right. what type of woman is this and where is she going? <laughs> what type of party is this? But for real. Hey everyone, it's Mirror Mangle. And it's Scarlet Sinai. And welcome to another Mangled Morning. Woo! Ooh, Scarlet, how are you? I'm great, gal. How are you today? I'm doing very well. It's the summer and we have a summer theme to look at with the Drag Race Philippines season two promos. Work. Beautiful. I'm excited to talk about those looks. Also, we're gonna look at the rumored cast for season 16 of Drag Race. Ooh. We won't meet them till next year. Ooh. Allegedly, they've wrapped up filming. Um, and this is the cast that's gone around for a few months now in terms Ooh. of the rumors. Sometimes we cover the rumored cast a little early. This time I feel like we waited until it, it seems like this is the one the group. Oh, I love that. And I got this from the Drag Race Wiki. They already have them there as the rumored, so blame Drag Race Wiki. <laughs> there you the go. Official one. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. So before we get started, I got distracted by my own hair. Before we get started, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and join the Patreon where you can see all kinds of additional content you can't see on YouTube, plus you're helping support the channel. Now you can also support the channel by tipping on Venmo or Cash App like these fine folks did. Big shout out to Sean S. who said, keep slaying and clowning me over these All-Stars <laughs> uh, 9 rumors. Love it. I think because I kept saying like, I don't believe it. That's not right. I got a lot of comments and messages that were like, no, that's what, I mean, they're all missing. Wow. So all right. we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. Right. <laughs> Y'all kept track of all like 200 of those girls. Right. Well, Savannah S. said that they love watching us while they're high. <laughs> yes, work. I love that. I sent this to you when I got it and I said, I'm surprised we don't get more of this. I know. It, it seems correct. Keep doing you, Savannah. We love to see it. Right. <laughs> and then finally, our girl Kelpie M. always coming through for us said that you and Scarlett look great going into your third year. Thank oh. you. Thank you, Kelpie. You know who looks great? Sean. Paul. The streak is broken for the Raptor Red because this is the Mangle Angel shirt. I love. And also, I'm living for their hair. Uh, I was going to say the same thing. Stunning. Beautiful. Laid. The hair's love laid it. out. They said that they, um, I think it says that they met Jinx Monsoon in this. Gorge. Is that what that says? Wearing my Mangle merch to see Jinx Monsoon. Oh, so that. fun. I love that. We got take to the Took into the Jinx show. Took into the Jinx show. Love it. Scarlett, where could you get that shirt? And much more. Oh, and much, much more. You can get that at dragqueenmerch.com. All right. Send us your photos and you'll be featured in a video. Drag Race is the most awarded reality show, I believe, of all time now. I think they passed, like, Top Chef. And, wow. You know, like, I love that. The most. And, of course, RuPaul, as host, has won the most Emmys. That's so cool. This year, they were nominated for nine more Emmys more chances to win. Now, last year was the first year they didn't win the best show. <gasps> RuPaul still won best host. Uh -huh. uh, Lizzo had the, the big girl show. What was that oh, called? Was it called fun. Big Girl? Yeah. yeah. That didn't come back this year. So maybe we, we will win it again. We will get it again. <laughs> A lot of people blamed um, season 14 and no one going home the whole time. But people went home every week on 15, so maybe we'll I mean, get the Emmy. And we had Sasha Colby. <laughs> and Sasha Colby deserves an Emmy on her own. She just deserves, yeah, give Sasha Colby everything. They deserve everything, and they're giving us desserts, summer desserts, over on Drag Race Philippines Season 2. Yes. The promo's stunning. I'm, I know, I'm so excited. I love just the color and the brightness. It just, it's already setting it up for the season. Just, it feels fun yeah. already. So. It's going to start very soon at the end of July. Yeah. Join the Patreon to see our live watch longs every week for that. Mm -hmm. But of course, we'll talk about the episodes, recap them on Mangle Morning as well. Yes. But today, we're going to take a look at the girls' promos. Up first is Arizona Brandy. Oh my God, I love this so much. It's stunning. Much. And Are it, you kidding me? And, you know, with, with all the stuff in the background, when mm -hmm. I first saw the image, I wasn't sure. Oh, wrong one. I wasn't sure if the orange slice that was on her shoulder and the cherry and all that was attached it is it is that is all part of the garments yeah it's just stunning it's beautiful it's giving you that camp couture it's so polished and just like honestly the scale of everything like yeah. it's just Epic. really impressive and fun yeah whoever like put that together that designer, that's some serious, like, amazing, beautiful quality construction. Up next is Astrid Mercury. Oh, wow. She looks stunning. She does. I hate when we don't get to see the look standing up and I fully. Know. So this is definitely that. We can't fully see her shape, but from what we can see, she looks stunning. Yeah, super beautiful, very romantic. How the ombre is done on this is just, like, yeah. Once again, it's just really beautiful. Makes me want like a summer cocktail. I know, yeah. This is just so gorgeous. So congratulations on being beautiful. She I was love it. she was one of the ones in the Meet the Queens that was came across a little shy. So hopefully she warms up because it yeah, made me a little bit nervous. Up next is Bernie. 
Wow. And Bernie is their real name and drag name. They were like, I don't feel it's necessary to have a drag name. <laughs> Good for them. I'm Bernie. This is amazing. This, this is, is pretty epic. Stunning, actually. She looks like a sculpture. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I'm yeah. like, she could just, she stands there and that's that's what she does. Just art. Yeah. Full on art. Amazing. I, once again, I wish we could see it like. Straight on. I want to see this walking the runway. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm intrigued. Up next is Captivating Cat Cat. Oh my God. I love this. I love the colors. Oh my God. Her mug and me? makeup looked even more stunning in the, in the little oh, queens. I, I'm just, how is everybody, how are, these are all so good. They've upped the Annie. I'm like, what is going on? I'm like, this is every garment you've been showing me. I'm like, this has to be the best one. And then it's, are you kidding me? Right. This is just amazing. I don't even know what to say. I'm blown away. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, wow. I think it's perfect from head to toe. <laughs> it, That's yeah. The is when something's really good, it's harder to talk about it. Cause you're like, well, I mean, everything's perfect. It's, you wouldn't change a thing. It's just, I think all the details are great. And I think yeah. because the garment doesn't give her a great shape her having her legs totally out i think is really smart too yeah but oh my god i like it's just so detailed and beautiful and and the shapes it does create oh are really god. cool and like that fabric really looks like petals up next is dd Dee Dee marie holiday oh she looks fun i want to say she was one of the ones that was like i've been doing drag for 13 years so she's been around like she's been doing drag a long time Mm -hmm. and she was very likable in the video right very very likable lots of charisma but this look does definitely leave something to be desired it does her beauty and just her in the video i loved but yeah this look as a look not doing it for me no it's yeah (laughs) and i think also because it's a departure from the others because the other girls are at like 11 you right. Know, she showed up as a six. I know. You showed me that flower, the flower one we just saw, and I'm I'm speechless, and then I'm like, oh, You were okay. captivated by Cat Cat. I was, but now I'm back to reality. <laughs> oh, this was the architect, Hannah Beshi. Oh, this wow. is, this is insane. Wow. This is literally insanity. Oh. Uh, and this photo honestly doesn't do the detail no. on the garment justice. Oh. Yes, the swirls was the architect. My God. Are you kidding me? And the fruit basket just looked rich, expensive, decadent. Oh. Her mug, incredible. I mean, it's literally perfect. Wow. Girl. J- I, j- like, what? what? Excuse me? <laughs> we both said what it's said. <laughs> And, like, just the detail of even the little curls on her head. It's just so beautiful. Oh my it's God. unreal. I can't wait for this season. Like, bitch, fuck you. I know. Like, <laughs> honestly, like. How dare you? All of that sentiment to most of these girls. Honestly, it's like, damn, y'all just. This, all right. This and I'm going to wear a t-shirt. I know. I'm like, mm, okay. I, now I will say. It's great. Okay, one one critique that is very, very minor. A lot of times girls will um, paint the corners of their lips out further than their lips. Um, I think we all kind of do versions of it, mm-hmm. but it's to prevent, like if your mouth naturally looks like you're frowning, mm-hmm. then you're gonna turn the corners of it up. Like we, you always want everything angled up. Yeah. She has a little bit of the Joker lip because mm, the yeah. upper lip comes out a little too far for me. I sometimes can't even focus on what she's saying because I'm looking at yeah, this, this like, why is she doing a Joker lip? Yeah. It still probably will end up being my favorite look because it's just that good. It's so beautiful. Talk about beauty. Up next is wow. Miss Jade So. Wow. One of the most beautiful queens we've ever had on. Mm-hmm. Like, period. The body is just flawless in the video, too. Beautiful. Face flawless. She did have one of the only Meet the Queen videos where it was giving me a little bit like, I'm giving you a Drag Race Meet the Queens video. It lacked a little substance. Okay, yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, Because a lot of the girls gave like really good fun personalities that I was excited to meet. Yeah. I'm excited to see her beauty and her body and her face. Mm -hmm. Looks like she could be Miss Universe though or something. I know, yeah. No, she's really beautiful. I think this look is a little on the fence for me. I think I'm gonna like soft yes it, mainly just because she's so beautiful. And kind of compared to all of these other super grand epic looks. This is, I don't know, still not giving me enough somehow. Up next is Matilda, but she spells it like Matilda. Oh, cute, that's fun. And she had a lot of charisma too. I love this. This is so pretty. The pants Mm. almost have like the pockets, like the the 90s pockets. This is so cool. I love the colors together. I don't understand why she has a white shoe. Mm. She has that keyhole under the pants. Like that feels like something should be there. Oh, like I don't the know. skin there. I'm I still like gonna it. give it a yes. I love it. I don't know. I think it's, 
you know, we're getting a lot of like ruffles and, and really dramatic things from a lot of the girls. But I think this is that, but like in this, like a new, like edgy kind of understated, like cool, cool style. Like it's almost like giving you like streetwear, like yeah. high fashion. It's very cool. It's very cool. So I like that twist. I don't know. This type of stuff really excites me. And uh, I'm, like, wow, I'm excited to see what she wears. I mean, I loved the top piece mm -hmm. and the cape of it and just literally everything about that's perfect. And I love the pants too. Yeah. Just, I don't understand the keyhole there. Fair. <laughs> Up next is Nicole Peridot. Yes. Once again, I wish she wasn't sitting so I could see more of what is happening. It's very, yeah, I know. It's like, th there's one here, uh -huh. like one big ruffle piece here on the shoulder and then one on the, the opposite hip. Mm, yeah. Yeah, it was a bodysuit and it did look really stunning. It's really pretty. I I, I know. Love, I still wish she was standing up, even though I saw it. I love the colors and I love the pattern of that flower. So yeah, I can't help but just figure that I'll really like it. And I feel like in this photo, <laughs> it looked more, I guess, rich and detailed than what it's mm. giving. You yeah. Know? Um, oh yeah, because I see that it's stone and stuff too. Yeah, it was very detailed. Ooh, and her boobies look good. Yeah, they they were her boobies too. Oh, There's three trans that. women on this season. Love it. Oh, one that's very exciting. Oh is you kidding me ov and i can't say her last name it's oh. the c word ov c word so we'll just call her ov <laughs> all right this, oh my god are you kidding me it makes a statement it is so different than everyone else oh my god and she had one of the funniest meet the queens she was really funny uh, i love she's, this she's oh. drag sisters to marina summers and um Eva La Queen. Eva La Queen. Oh my God. So she comes from a good house. Oh, there's been a lot of amazing looks, and I know I've been like freaking out about a lot of them, but ooh, girl, this might be my favorite one so far. It's everything. Every element that I love is encapsulated in this look. I love pink. She's got it. I love florals and stuff, that sweetness. She's got it. But then she's also serving you total, like, Maleficent, Evil Queen. She looks sexy. Like, how does she look so, like, scary and beautiful at the same time i'm obsessed right the belays no, are quaking you're right i mean it really does encapsulate everything it still meets the prompt for mm -hmm. the promo yet she just really did her own thing yeah and like the fact that it does feel alternative yet also it's high whore pageant right because everything is perfect and immaculate it's perfect i'm obsessed it's my favorite up next is tiny deluxe wow. now she is venus deluxe's drag daughter you can see the resemblance because venus is so beautiful this is an epic outfit this is stunning mm -hmm. like she's giving me lady gaga meets barbie her mug is stunning yeah she was very likable in the video the colors are great on her mm -hmm. and then finally Verushka levels yes and she said that she loves a german supermodel that's how she got her name this is underwhelming for me yeah. for the i mean it's yeah again it doesn't help that we just looked at a few that were really epic but um yeah. i would have to give it a mess Same. it just looks like a dance costume the feathers on the front i don't know if they're doing what she they wants want to. me yeah they she wants me to like about to it feel? yeah exactly it's very that i feel like tim gunn right now but like where is this girl going what? you know like asking right. the designer like right, right. what type of woman is this and where is she going? <laughs> what type of party is this but for real dance number maybe your third number look type of thing like exactly because yeah it's just and again, th this cast like went so epic with the budget and the quality of those looks mm -hmm. that it, it does feel really underwhelming. Right, God, unless you have like, you're walking in with a Met Gala look on anymore. I just, yeah. it's apparently like, sorry. Now let's move on to the season 16 rumored cast. Oh, okay. Uh, there's 14 total queens. Okay. Because last year, what, we had 16 the most ever. Yes. It was a lot, but I think the one good element of that was we did have someone go home pretty much every week, right? Yeah, because it started out with the double opening yeah. and they I kept it pumping. The only double save of the whole season was the one right before the finale. Right. Between Mistress and uh, Anitra, I believe. Which was very warranted. Yeah. God, season 15 was so good. It's gonna be hard to top. It is gonna be hard, like, oh my gosh. But I'm so excited to look at this cast. So let's get into it. We're gonna go alphabetical by first name and up first is a mandatory meeting. A mandatory <laughs> meeting from a New York, New York. A mandatory meeting. I love that. What a fun little camp name. It seems like she's maybe giving us some comedy. Yeah. Overall in With general. a name like that, you have to. Yeah. She's very bright and colorful. I did have to... Um, love this. If you see the bottom photo, I had to blur out what's in her hand because it was something oh. lewd. Oh, okay. That you'd maybe get on, you know, if we promoted like Adam and... 
what is it? It's like Adam, Adam and Eve. Eve. Yeah. One yeah. of those websites. That's funny. But in a gun form, which I hadn't oh. seen that. I hadn't seen one that was a gun. I know there's typically a lot of New York queens, but I always enjoy the New York queens. Do they bring a specific kind of style of comedy and kind of this energy about them? So I always enjoy a New York queen on the show. Well, last year we had what? Or Connecticut Queens. Yes. <laughs> and I think still a couple of New York Queens. Mm-hmm. This year, I feel like it's back up to some of the seasons that people were like, oh my God, why so many? Because there are six. New York Queens? Uh-huh. Oh, but what wow. I will say is they all clearly do very different things. Oh, cool. And I'm excited to see. Cool. Up next is Dawn, also from New York. Ooh, I mean, almost. giving you Alien Elf. Oh, yes. I'm excited. I love a drag entity or like a drag creature or, you know, I'm not exactly, you know, what yeah, she creature, refers yeah. to herself, but damn, right. I'm interested and this makeup is pretty stunning. Non-human drag. How about that? Yeah. yeah. I love that. And it, I feel like we don't get enough of that on Drag Race. Definitely. I want more all at Queens and she's going to deliver that, at least from what we see on her Instagram. I hope she gets to go far because I feel like a lot of times the alternative queens go home Early. quickly. Yeah. yeah. Or told to change. Yeah, they're like, stop painting your face blue. It does feel like they're doing less of that, and hopefully that won't happen. Yeah. Like, cast me, like, you saw what I did in the video. Why are you asking me to do something different? (laughs) Right. Up next is Geneva Carr from Brownsville, Texas. Ooh. Well, I don't know where Brownsville, Texas is, but... It is in Texas. The state of Texas. Perfect. Um, And she's giving some Texas vibes. Definitely, like, yeah. Pageant. Getting the overall like Texas, the big hair, yeah. the big ruffles. But God, she looks stunning. That is a beautiful mug right there. It sure is. Is Mistress from Texas? I don't know why I'm thinking that. I, Maybe just because she did no, a cowboy cowgirl look one time. I think you're right. Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. And the Texas girls, yes. they usually bring us. Oh, she's giving like if, if Mistress isn't, let's say. Um, Alyssa. Alyssa, exactly. Even just these pictures, she looks like she knows that she's that girl, too. Yeah. So maybe she'll give us a little, like, sass and stuff. So I think that she looks exciting. Pageant girls, too. Exactly. I know. I'm like, bring us the pageant, bring us drama. Up next, this is Cornbread's daughter. Ah! It is Hershey LaCour Jeté. I'm Los ob- Angeles. Obsessed. Gotta give it up for this name, honestly. It's already fun. And if you're Cornbread's daughter, I already have high expectations for you. I know. So when I first saw that, I was excited, and then I got nervous for her because mm-hmm. even though Cornbread was only on an episode of Half a Drag Race, <laughs> she is a superstar and yeah. set a standard that for the brand and her name. Uh huh. That then I got like nervous for her, being like, "Oh my God, how are you gonna? How could you live up to that?" Yeah. We need to try not to do that to her, and I hope she doesn't do that to herself right. while she's there. Right. That's where it could be the most dangerous. True. True. But she is stunning. Yes. Yeah. Regardless. Of who her mom is or isn't, I'm excited to see her. Cornbread's very camp. Yeah, uh, yeah. She's giving more pageant. Pageant, right. So that in itself is already a different vibe. But yeah. the name is very camp. It is. It's really fun. Ooh. Up next is Mega Me from New York. See, the New York queens wow. that they've cast are, like, really interesting. Yeah, and, like, even these two photos that you've put up here they're like two different people so different yeah oh, she's this is beat either fun. way oh my gosh right like this she's giving you like kind of sexy like maybe she's doing a dance number or something like that and then she's like you know giving me alt girl and this makeup is really stunning on this yeah oh this is exciting mega me is a cool name too it is a cool name maybe she's like you know she's giving me like full package somehow already Oh, wait. Like, just from these photos. Do you think it's pronounced Megami or, like, Megami? Or maybe it's pronounced Megami. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Megami. Megami. Like, Meg. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it could be any of those. Yeah. Well, we'll find out one day. Up next is Maya Aman LePage. Ooh. That's a mouthful. That... From Miami. Oh. Malaysia Baby Doll Fox was the first queen ever from Miami, which is crazy. That's this crazy. year, there are two Miami queens. Nice. And she ha- her Instagram had a, a title of International Queen of Flips. That's exciting. I want to see the Queen of Flips. Right. I mean, her mug. I like that very much. Her mug is beat. Oh, yeah. I mean, God, she's so drop dead stunning in both of these photos. That orange dress with that hair. She's giving Ooh. you pageant, but also if her title is Queen of Flips, then she is a dancer. Ooh, you know who like- Gonna make good TV. The, you know the vibe I'm getting is mm. kind of the vibe of like our very own Miss Chastity. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like she's dancer, giving you pageant. stunning pageant, but she's giving you dancer and like flips. 
So yeah. I'm ready to see that. it. Yeah. I mean, at the bare minimum, we'll get at least some flips from her. Yeah. Hopefully, if she's queen of flips, let's see a girl. Up next is Mirage Amoro. Wow. From Las Vegas. She All says right. he's with an Anitra. Anitra, gotcha. Vegas. Fun. Well, if she's a Vegas girl, then I'm expecting performance since it's such a performance heavy city. They expect you to be able to like really buck and like give that show. You gotta be able to put on a show. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So high hopes in terms of performing. I her name is like so Vegas to me. Mirage. I couldn't be any more Vegas <laughs> right. than Mirage, yeah. Exactly. So I kinda live. Next is Morphine Love Dion from oh, Miami. All right. So she's the other Miami queen. Yeah. But why did neither one of the Miami queens' names, like, they don't, they're not flowing out of my mouth easily. <laughs> right. It's a... Uh, Morphine Love Dion. Mouthfuls, for sure. Ooh, but she's kind of giving me, like, seductive, sultry, dark lady or something. This is not a read at all, but it's going to sound... <laughs> so that's the preface. Uh, she's giving me, like, that's Rebecca her. Glasscock, but, like, modern. Like, her, oh, her beat. Her beat. Okay, yeah, her beat. Like, because yeah. Rebecca's mug was stunning. Yeah, no, that's true. That's they... what I'm saying. It was not a read. She's beautiful. Yeah. Very beautiful. Just from these two looks, I don't know exactly what type of drag persona to expect with a name like Morphine as the first name. I am kind of... Well, and the names are also, like, all three names are just so random. Yeah. They don't necessarily tell a story together for me. Morphine. Love. Love. And then, and just then Dion? Dion, like Celine Dion, <laughs> unclear, unsure. I'm not yeah. sure. <laughs> this one I'm super excited for. Wow. And again, another New York queen, Nymphia Wynn. Yeah, from New York. Nymphia Wynn. She also had some beauty looks, but these looks were just so cool to me. Like the sushi's looked Creative. like it was attached to her face. Yes. The hair was so cool. Wow. And then this heart look was just. Like, oh my god. She's very creative. Yeah, I love this. This is like. I don't know, already very high, con like, just these looks is very high con high concept, and, like, Loki, like, that's a lot of All-Stars level to me. Right? Like, I, like, that's, that's cute. That's really cute. And I really felt cute. like her entire Instagram was like that. She was one, okay, wow. so here's the deal. This is going to sound shady, too. But, <laughs> like, because we do this all the time, and there's so many franchises, mm -hmm. like, when we first started doing this, I would follow every girl from every season. Yeah. I stopped doing that because there's just so many of them. Yeah. And, so, like, not everyone's drag is going to be for me. True. Like, the reality is I end up, you know, I would end up unfollowing some of them because I'm like, I don't really like what they do. Right. You know, and that's Fair. okay because it's not for me. Right, yeah. Um, but she was one I had to follow immediately. Mm, so I don't care so how cool. she did on the show. Her Instagram is just so good. Right. You just, like, are interested in her as yeah. a queen regardless if she's on the show or not. Regardless if she's cast or not, I want to see what she's doing. Damn, that's awesome. Up next is Plain Jane from Boston. Wow. I didn't she I need to fix that. It says Boston, New York. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, I've done the one right before that. Wow. Plain Jane is a funny name. It is. She's beautiful, though. She is. She's stunning. I'm living. I don't know. She's kind of giving me, like, Dark Lady Brooklyn Heights or something. I was going to say Brooklyn, too. Yeah. Yeah, a more severe Brooklyn, almost. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I will say, though, I get nervous with the girls with names like Jan and Marsha. It does set expectations low, and it, it manifests itself in the show typically to not be someone that pops like if you mm. if you're coming in the door and naming yourself playing jane yeah it just automatically makes me because what we've seen in the past like it makes me nervous she's not going to do well yeah or blend in yeah i mean even though these pictures are stunning they are stunning but yeah i'm hoping that there is some substance when she yeah. gets there so when she still pops yeah but she, she looks beautiful. beautiful right up next is plasma from new york Ooh, fun she was giving like broadway girl okay but she's really the only one that's doing that yeah we, we need to have all different types and that's what i'm saying think about the new york girls just alone we've looked at oh my gosh, right? they're all so different so true yeah she's giving me like old hollywood glamour I and it's live. a beat that reminds me of somebody, but yeah, not a lot of queens paint like that. Yeah. You know? Just based on photos, and you know, historically I've been wrong on this many times, because a photo can only say so much, but she kind of was, uh, made me wonder if she's going to be low energy. Got it. Okay. But a photo can be misleading. I mean, we all remember when I said Lawrence Cheney looked like she wasn't going to be funny because her photos were posed very fiercely yeah and turns out she was hilarious right you know? right she's kind of giving you a character in these photos right off the bat you know what what i think is also kind of throwing me off with it is mm. that the name plasma you would think would be one of the alt queens yeah and not like you would think her name would be judy you know greer not judy greer that's a real person 
<laughs> but like, you know, Judy, Judith Light, that's a real person too. What the f You know what I'm trying to say? Like Judy yeah. Smith. Yeah, right. Judy is something extravagant along the last name. Right. Like something like that. Right. But her name is Plasma. Mm -hmm. All right. But so, she's giving you old Hollywood. Another name that you don't know what she's going to do, but is also very intriguing. Yeah. Q. Oh from God. Kansas City, Missouri. Come through. Not, still not St. Louis, but Kansas City. Love that. This is Kansas City's so high neighbor. third. Third in Kansas City, I believe, right? Yeah. Widow, Widow, Moni Cart. Yep. Yeah. And Q. Q. And then the two Springfield girls. Yeah. She is beautiful. Yeah. The beat is perfection. The hair is just so intricate, but also yeah. interesting and, like, intriguing. Yeah. Just like her name, her look, I think, is also intriguing. Definitely. She's also, she's giving me almost, like, a little bit of, like, punk rock in a way. It's very unique. It's not, nothing is exactly how you'd expect it to be. She's giving rule breaker already. Exactly. Yeah. It's very cool. Cool aesthetic. So that'd be exciting. I would love to see, you know, Kansas City or, or no. Missouri girl just come in no. and slay some Widow is still the only one I knew prior to the show. Yeah. Because I, I hadn't cause heard I don't know of her Crystal either. or anybody before. I hadn't no. even heard of Monique before. So either. yeah. Up next is Sapphira. Crystal, or is Crystal. it Crystal? I think it's Crystal. Sapphire Crystal. Yeah. From Philadelphia. Do we get any girls from Philadelphia? Right? I don't know if we've had any Philly girls. At least if we have, they haven't been like, I'm repping Philly. Right. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I remember that. Wow. Oh my God. She's gorgeous. Just when you think the beats can't be topped, oh. this mug is unreal. Oh my gosh. Like, she literally is so gorgeous that I'm like, is this. A real person, like she almost looks like AI, like she computer does. generated or she something. She looks like AI. Yeah, she is that beautiful. She looks fake, like, like she doesn't look real. It's breaking my brain a little bit <gasps> of how beautiful and stunning she is. Are you kidding me? And then on top of that, the looks are rich, oh decadent, God. expensive. Oh. Like rich is the word I, that comes to mind. Right? Oh, yeah. oh my God. Our Are final you kidding one, me too? Tsunami Muse from New York. Ooh. Talk about beats. Another beautiful beat. And oh she God. is, of course, from the House of Muse. I love. Candy Muse's, I believe Candy Muse's daughter. Wow. Well, she looks amazing beautiful stunning once again i'm like wow are you kidding me like look at that face got that that music oh, beat. yes oh my gosh for real yeah how yeah how they do like this part of their face is yeah. so like muse you know what i mean yeah the brow and it's like the brow into the contour is very signature the beauty is there and i'm interested and hey here's the real tea everyone from the house of aja has made great tv yeah even even dahlia who was on for a second right she's still stormed out she's the only girl to like storm out not not say goodbye right and so I mean, like bitch broccoli. they make good tv <laughs> And the broccoli. And the broccoli. <laughs> but I mean, Aja and Candy are TV gold. Right. So why wouldn't you have the rest of the house on? Honestly, come on, muses. Bring them in. Bring I them still want in. Janelle uh, number five on. That would be really cool. Janelle's so funny. Yes. So that is our cast. Ooh, sickening. There's a lot of beauty going on with these girls. And yeah, lots of different types of drag. Good mix of, Ugh. yeah, some folks that have interesting point of views. I yeah. feel like they all have, I feel like, honestly, almost all of them have very clear, distinct point of views. I had no previous knowledge yeah. of any of these girls, but I feel like right away, it's like you can kind of clock what, yeah. what they're doing, what their aesthetic is, right. like maybe what they're going to be talented at. So I love that. Who are you most excited to see? Ooh, well. Sapphira. Yeah, Sapphira and Tsunami, honestly. They like knocked me back with the beauty. I think my number one though is definitely... Uh, Nymphia. Nymphia. Yeah, Nymphia. I, mean, I guess we don't really, I mean, maybe Amanda's camp, but mm -hmm. we don't have like a like camp queens that I could, I see off the bat. Yeah. And so she was the only one giving me some of that energy too, but it was still high fashion. So I'm excited. Like and that's perfect for me. Exactly, yes. And I'm also excited to see what Dawn would do. Yes. Like what? Yeah. What's what's that drag persona? See, look, we picked three New York girls and the <laughs> Philadelphia girl. Oh. Like, they're some of the most exciting. Honestly, so you can't be mad at the casting. I don't know, right? Mm, good job. And then come on, Kansas City. I really want to see Q. Very intrigued by mm -hmm. Q. As Very well. intrigued. Yeah. Well, let us know what you think about the rumored si season sixteen cast and those promos over on Drag Race Philippines. Ooh. We are gonna head on out of here for now, and I have one last thing to say. Glad you got to see us. Bye. Bye. Bye.